up everyday blades man this knife has ruffled some feathers jack this is the harbor freight if i can get it out of here a harbor freight icon drop point blade d2 steel knife and the big the first big stir is nobody can believe that harbor freight put out a usable knife with d2 steel that's that's a that's a headline of its own um but there's an underlying problem with this knife um it's a it's a ripoff of a design made by todd Beg. uh it's not a clone this let me show you what a clone is this is a clone bench made logo made in china osborne this is a clone made to be almost identical and uses the same name just like when they cloned the first sheep it was an identical sheep right and identical in every way every genetic makeup this is a clone this is a stolen design now it, is it any better that it's a stolen design? No. No, it's shit. It sucks. To come up with an original, popular knife design that makes you money is extremely difficult these days. The fact that hundreds and thousands of knife designs have been out there. I mean, technically, even if you don't get it patented in the knife world, you own that. You own that design. So to make something different... And at first I kind of looked at it and said, well, it's not, it's not that similar because it has sculpting on the scales here, a bigger pivot with a, you know, anodized pivot collar, has inlaid, uh, supposed to be carbon fiber. Um, the blade looked completely different, but then I found out that the mini glimpse of Todd Beggs, the blade looks identical. Um, it's a stolen design. So when you send your designs over to China to one of these companies to have a have a, a more affordable knife made and I'm not dissing nobody for that I mean I'm glad a lot of them do it so some of us can afford their stuff um, there's a big risk you take that someone's gonna steal a design and take it out the back door and take it to the factory next door and make copies of it or in the same factory over there you don't know what's going on there's no regulation for that they don't they don't care about that they, they don't have any morals or values but I wanted to talk a little bit about this knife. So the, the fact that it, it's a shame that they copied the design because it's, it's a really good knife for the price. For $39, I think people would pay $85 for this knife, believe it or not. Um, ceramic bearings, D2 steel, carbon fiber. We're fixing to find out if that's carbon fiber, by the way. Low friction, pivot. It's just a it's just a good little knife. The the blade centered, the action works right. This is a little bit aggressive right here. But can't can't recommend this knife to anyone. I wouldn't ask any of you to go buy this. I wouldn't recommend that any of you go buy this. I I bought this for discussion purposes to bring up the fact that um there's a stolen design being sold at Harbor Freight. I'm a I'm a knife reviewer, so that's why I brought it up. Um, I'm not going to carry this and use this and be proud of this and say, hey, man, look at this great knife. But the problem is, I made a Facebook post yesterday in my group, Everyday Blades. You can't state your position in a Facebook group. You can state a very small part of it, and then everybody attacks you. Oh, that's a clone, clone. Well, it's not technically a clone. And then they think you're defending it. So at that point, there's no point even saying anything else. Um, at, at the very best, I think this is a sticker. Let's see. See if we can find out. Because we're definitely not worried about running it, are we? It's not like I'm going to carry this thing day to day. Use my clone to dig into my ripoff. I mean, it looks like just a thin layer 
a thin layer of carbon fiber, like a, a sticker with a, what Spider Co. calls, what, peel ply carbon fiber? Because you get into G10 pretty quickly. So that's the deal there. I think this is just a, an overlaid sticker of, of car. I don't think it's, I think it's a sticker of carbon fiber, a super, super thin layer. Because the first few pieces I pulled off, I could see like carbon fiber strands, but it, it still doesn't matter. It's still even more upsetting because this would be a great knife. I mean, I, I think a lot, I think a lot of people are still going to buy it. I think they're not going to care. People that are knife, not, that are not knife guys are not going to care. They're not going to know who Todd Begg even is. They're just going to see this at Harbor Freight. And something odd is this is not in the knife section at Harbor Freight. This is in the ratchet section with the other icon ratchets so you know a few things are different like the clip the pivot the sculpting but there's too much here that's the same to say it's not a rip off of a design it says on the package designed by icon tools in the usa that manufactured in china the second statement's true the first statement is not true. This is, you you may have designed a couple of things on here, but the base knife is a rip off of a Todd Begg design. It's the glimp, mini glimpse. Uh, and even at first I didn't know they even had, Todd Begg even had a mini glimpse out. I thought he just had the glimpse. I was like, man, it's like half the size. How can that be a rip off? Uh, or definitely not a clone, but he does have the mini glimpse and it's it's eerily similar to this, so. Is this a good knife? Absolutely. For $39, this is a freaking home run. But it's a shame because I wasn't I wouldn't recommend this to anyone. I wouldn't give this to anyone. I'll probably end up cutting that scale in half because I want to see how thick that carbon fiber is. Uh, I have hundreds of hundreds of knives. I don't, I don't need this. I, I bought this strictly to make a video on it to show people what, what, Harbor Freight is doing it, and I don't think Harbor Freight has a clue that this is a stolen design. I doubt anybody that in purchasing department even knows who Todd Begg is. You know, it's it's a name in our community. Um, and maybe one of these videos will get to them, and they'll pull it off the shelf, and then it'll be gone. So, what a shame. Great knife, but it's great knife because it's Todd Begg design. So, guys, thanks for watching. God bless you and your families. Say a prayer for our country. Good night.